Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the game GTA 5 on Crossover if you have the Epic Games version of this game. If you're trying to run GTA 5 and you want to be able to play it online and you want to get the best performance, then Crossover is definitely the way to do it. It's going to be run much faster than Parallels. And now with a recent Crossover update, we're going to actually do this online using the Epic Games launcher version of this game. So a lot of people receive GTA 5 free as it was given away a long time ago and we can actually redeem this and use this through Crossover and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the very first thing that we're going to need to do is to install Crossover Beta. At the time of recording we need the Crossover Beta version in order to have the Rockstar Social Club DRM working so you can play your version of GTA 5 through the Epic Games launcher and actually play this online as well. So we need to have Crossover Beta installed. All you have to do is follow the link at the top of the description and then make a purchase of Crossover and then once you're actually on the Crossover website we just go into the Beta Tester program and then we can go ahead and from the Crossover Beta Center, we can just download the latest version of Crossover 21.1, and this is going to have all the functionality that we need. So once we have Crossover 21.1 or any future version that has the Rockstar Social Club fixes integrated, then we can move on to the next step. So just be aware that the Crossover article on the AppleGamingWiki.com website are also going to contain these instructions in case anything changes in the future. So the next step is that we need the Heroic Games Launcher. So I'm going to leave a link to the GitHub for Heroic Games Launcher. So this is an open source alternative to the Epic Games Launcher. We're going to need this because we can't install the Epic Games Launcher on Crossover. It's not compatible. So we have to use the Heroic Games Launcher instead. We're actually going to be downloading the macOS build for this. So when we get to the Heroic Games Launcher GitHub page, we need to go to the releases section on the right here. When you click on the latest release. So the time recording is the 17th of October. So I'm going to scroll down to here and we're going to find the Mac version. So we're actually going to be installing the Mac version of Heroic, not the Windows version, and we're going to be using Crossover's Wine in order to actually play the game. So once Heroic is downloaded, I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, and then we're going to install Heroic. So I'm going to double click on this DMG file, we're going to drag it to the Applications folder. So just pick this up with your left mouse button and then let it go on the Applications folder here, and then we've got this Heroic application. So the next thing I'm going to do is to double click and open up Heroic. And if you have this error message, we can just go back and then hold control and then click. And then we can have the open button here. And then we've bypassed that error message and press open. So once this is open, we need to go ahead and log into the Epic Games Launcher. So the way this is done is we need to open the Epic Games Store here. And then we need to sign in with our Epic Games account. So I'm going to sign in with my email account and then click login now. It's probably going to ask you for your two-factor sign-in code. Just enter that from your email address. So once we have this page, we have an authorization code. So it's called the SID, and we need to copy and paste that into Heroic. So it's going to be a set of numbers and the last quotation mark at the end of this string of characters here. So let's just copy all of the characters between the quotation marks. Control click copy. And then we're going to minimize the browser and go back to Heroic. Then we're going to paste our SID number here and then click Login. So I've now logged into my account. What I'm going to do is to find GTA 5 here and we're going to start a download. So I'm going to click on GTA 5 and then what I'm going to do is click the install button here. Then it's going to begin the install process. So this is quite a large file, 109 gigabytes. Make sure you have enough space in order to download it. So we'll just let that run for the time being. We're going to move on to the next step with Crossover. So with Crossover 21.1 or later open, we're going to go to the bottom left hand side here and click New Bottle. Here I'm going to create a bottle called Heroic and we're going to make sure that it's a Windows 7 64-bit bottle. So within the Heroic launcher, what I'm going to do is select this and then I'm going to install a Windows application. I'm going to install the Rockstar Games launcher. And the important part here is that we choose the bottle that we created. So this Heroic bottle here, we're going to make sure it installs into there. So I'm going to click Install now and it's going to install all of the dependencies for the Rockstar Games Launcher into there. So if any prompts come up, just click yes. Here we're going to click agree and then install and then close. Here we're going to agree and then install and then close. So here we're going to select our language and press continue and then continue again and then continue and then continue here and then close. So we're here, Rockstar Games Launcher has asked us to scan for installations, just click cancel here. And we're now ready to move on to the next stage. So we've got Rockstar Social Club working we're going to close this now and then move on to the next step. So once GTA 5 has finished downloading, we'll be ready to move on to the next step. We're going to go to the settings here and click on Wine, and we're just going to double check that everything here is correct. Heroic now has the option to set the Wine version directly onto Crossover. So we're using Crossover 21.1 at the moment, and we've specified this Heroic bottle, which is where we've already installed the Rockstar Games launcher. Here I've also cleared the Wine prefix folder, which may or may not be necessary. Here I'm going to return now, and I'm going to open up Grand Theft Auto and click Play now. So this is now loading the Rockstar Games Games launcher. What we're going to do now is to log into our Rockstar Games Social Club account. Now here we're going to be linking our Epic Games account to the Rockstar Games Social Club account. So I'm going to click link account now. 
And now GTA 5 has started loading and I'll give it permission to access my microphone. So we've now loaded into GTA 5. What I'm gonna do is to show you that online mode does work. So I'm gonna click on the online mode here. So now this is my GTA online game. I've actually loaded it up. I can actually go into my phone and I can actually join a job. So it's all working at the moment. So this is the game working on my Apple M1 Max with 32 gigabytes of RAM and 32 GPU cores. So this is all working now. I can see that there are other players moving around on the map. This is basically the online version of the game being played through crossover. And this is the Epic Games Store version of the game that was handed out for free quite a while ago. So a question I get a lot is how do I enable the frame rate counter, which is on the top left hand corner of the screen. So this is actually called the DXVK HUD and it's giving us a lot of information about the frame rate and also the GPU usage and the video memory and where it's being used. So this is quite a useful thing to enable, especially when we're playing online or comparing it to running on parallels. So what you need to do is to find the bottle that you have and control click on it. Then we're going to go ahead and click open C drive. Then we're going to go into the path bar here. So if you don't have the path bar on your finder, just click on view and then click show path bar. And this will allow us to go back to the parent folder. And what I want to do is to go from drive C to the heroic section here. Then what we're going to do is to find the cxbottle.conf and we're going to control click on this and click open with text edit. So this is the configuration file for the entire bottle. What I want to do is to scroll to the bottom of here and we're going to add a new variable. So basically what you want to do is to add one or all of these lines to the bottom of this configuration file. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. I'm actually going to enable the full HUD. You type in the double quotes and then you type in dxvk underscore hud and then the double straight quotes again, then equals and then double straight quotes again, and then type in full, and then double straight quotes again. If you wanted to customize this, you could change this to the number one, or you could just enable FPS and dev info, etc. But I'm gonna enable the full HUD here. What I wanna do is to click file and click save. So here we're gonna load up Grand Theft Auto 5 and click play now. And you can even see that within the Rockstar Games launcher, it's actually applying this uh, HUD, even though this we're not actually in the game, it's still using DirectX 11. So it's displaying the HUD over it. So here we're in the game and I'm just gonna load up the story mode so I can see the actual frame rate in a normal single player game. So just gonna show you the settings that we're using. This is the M1 Max chip with 32 gigabytes of RAM and 32 GPU cores. Everything's on normal or off and we're running this at 1080p at the DirectX 10 mode. If I just quit out of this and go onto the main mode, you can see that we're running at a pretty solid to 50 FPS and it's running very smoothly. And now that we've got all the frame rate data, we can do some comparisons and then see how this runs. And uh, anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.